Hello Skyrie, we are the Law Fam, and we are here to share to you our life during the quarantine moments. My name is Joanne, and we are a family of five, namely Papa Misa, who is a Korean refugee from Burma, my mama Jocelyn, who is a Filipina. My siblings, Kuyamaj at the gym, and I are current Filipino Canadian. Kuyamaj is in charge of dishwashing. He does it in the morning and in the evening before he sleeps. Thank you, Kuyamaj, for doing the dishes. Jem Jem, on the other hand, is the one putting away the dishes that Koya Madge just washed. Thank you, Ati Jem, for doing the dishes. We Me getting ready to go outside to buy some groceries. Keeping my sanity during this pandemic was quite a challenge. Routines are not any more possible and schedules are drastically altered. As soon as I wake up, I am to listen to my kids' opinions, respond to their requests, referee their disputes, and feed them as if in an hourly basis. The stop it! The no kuya match! And mama can I? And the quiet! Phrases really tests my patience. However, I praise God for His promise in Isaiah 26, 3 that He will keep in perfect peace those who put their trust in Him. Most of the time, I don't know how to keep up with this new normal. But I am reminded by God in His Word in Proverbs 3, 5 to 6 that it is only by trusting Him with all our hearts and not leaning on our own understanding and acknowledging Him in all our ways that we get His direction. Every day, my kids follow this schedule. I ask them to be out from their room by 9 o'clock and by 9 to 10, for one hour, they have to do their morning routine. They have to do their beds, they have to pray, they have to eat or prepare their breakfast, wash their face, brush teeth, and do the dishes. They are able to do this one quickly because they are excited to do their one hour gadget time. So. Unless otherwise they are done with their morning routine, gadget time is not possible. After that, each of them will have 20 minutes of music lessons. And then 12 to 1 o'clock, they have their lunch while we watch TV together. And from 1 to 4, they do their lessons. They study Korean with their grandfather. They have their online Google class meet with their teachers and then some journal writing. Then from four to five, they rest and they have TV time. From five to nine, it's their play time or free time. They can do outdoor play or they can um, read or whatever they want to do. And that's also the time that we schedule them for music lesson online with their uncle in the Philippines and 9 to 10 they do their evening routine and by 10 each of them would have to be in their bedrooms and try to fall asleep So far, because of this lockdown, God has opened doors to new opportunities for us to be occupied and equipped. As you guys could have told by now, I am Medj and I am the eldest from the three siblings. 
As you can see, my mom has allowed me to keep my hair growing and long, provided that I keep it clean. As of the moment, we are engaged with online classes of music with my Tito JR in the Philippines. Not only are we allowed to learn music, but we get to virtually meet our friends from all over the world. Also, we get to enhance our Karen proficiency and language with my grandpa, whom in Karen we call Poo Poo. Jem Jem and Nej learning Karen language from their grandpa, and they have found that the basement is a good place to learn. It's cooler because everybody's also working inside the house, so we have to make sure that we find our place, um, individual space to do our thing to not disrupt other people who are working. We also got to spend a lot of time playing with our cousins with the extra time we have on our hands. I remember, same time as last year, our family was in Asia by now, visiting families in the Philippines, Burma, and Thailand. Our mission was to share God's love and salvation to anyone God allowed us to meet. Now, we get to continue that mission as we are given more chances to attend and participate in virtual worship services done across Canada, the United States, and even all the way in Australia. Lola Jules from the Philippines made us memorize Psalm 8411. This is both a command and a promise. The Lord, with His grace, will protect us and will help us get through this circumstance victoriously. He will bless and provide us with what we need. So let us continuously keep our faith strong and uphold each other in prayer. Jam making some iced tea. Hi, my name is Jam and I am the second child among three children of the Law family. I am turning 11 years old this August. It has been three months since we are asked to stay home because of this pandemic. Since the lockdown, our daily life has become like a vacation, but in our own house. And this is the longest time we have seen our dad stay at home. My father is a court interpreter, 
Thus, he would have to travel to different cities from time to time. Also, he is a settlement worker at Jane and Finch Family and Community Center, serving newcomers here in Canada. Since the lockdown, my papa has to work from home, and because he works over the phone, we have, we have to make sure that the house is silent enough, otherwise we will be in trouble. Speaking of trouble, to avoid this, my mama makes sure that we are all occupied and there is order in the house. My mama is a stay-at-home mom who loves to play with us and tells us stories about God's faithfulness. La ako a poko lo da fu pitanyo. Dota fu ku ta ku da um gaklune o. Dota fu u ta u. Dota ga u ga swa ga heto guila lo. We a shaya thusi a dusi. Those whom God bought, they all come to Zion with happiness and songs on their head. Joy and gladness will follow them. Sorrow and mo a mourning will leave. Uh, Isaiah 35 10. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Hebrews 13 8. Proverbs 18 10. The name of the Lord is a strong tower, the righteous one is right on the earth. One, two, three, four.